Hi, and welcome to episode 41 of One Game Dad. I'm the proverbial One Game Dad, Gregory Palici. And today, it should come as no surprise, I'm playing Destiny 2. Following some of its most recent updates. In preparation for Forsaken, which uh, I pre-ordered. Uh, it's funny, like the the the. It's always about like a month or so before the next uh, content drop for Destiny Two that I start to uh, lose interest in it and uh, as is the case with all the game now uh, there's just a grind to it that I don't enjoy there's elements that I just have no fun with oh. hold on the camera's not on Let's see if I can turn the camera on for me. There we go. All is better. That's better. Now you can see me. Not that anyone's watching. But, yeah, it just, this level of grind doesn't interest me, but I want to see where the story goes. I like the fact that they're planning on killing a character because I, uh, that change in games need that change. Stories need that change. Characters need to die or leave. Things need to develop. It, Nothing means anything if the hive is back, Guardian. A small nothing. army is amassing deep below the surface of the Martian ice cap. Their leader, Nacris, is a dangerous heretic who needs to be developed. stopped at all costs. So, yeah, that's why I'm glad to see it. Finally happening. Took them a while, but a while. forward to No Man's Sky, which is finally releasing on the Xbox. But, uh, I, I, I really suspect that that's not going to... well... Anna, do you have any intel on Nacris? He's no, I, I think they've changed it enough that it'll be interesting. I hope it can become my chill out game rather than the resolution. Or to no man's sky. Shouldn't be. But here I am. These crystals are pure crystallized soul fire. They must be the source of the energy spike. Um that is a uh... Hey, 
there's not a lot going on. Uh, it's summer. It's very much summer in Finland. Finland, it's hot. The hive's corruption is changing the physical properties of the surrounding rock. Like 30. Rapid organic growth is occurring. Really it's a spawning ground. It's even getting to temperatures over 30 above the Arctic Circle. Yay for global warming. Other news. Oh, I've been reading more well, about but I'm off for a week. He's a necromancer. Yeah. Something extremely rare. We're on hive. summer vacation. He can actually reanimate dead hive. You're going to have to take them all out. Permanent. vacation is nice and uh, the weird thing is to be uh, to basically have created two companies this year and be going on summer vacation but it's very necessary This show, this series, seems to have shifted to every two weeks. That wasn't an intentional thing, that's just the nature of family life and balancing and everything. Like to get back on a weekly schedule. It's just a matter of also finding uh, the ability to do it in uh, at work more in time. You know, because there are people around to do what for all intents and purposes. Just a personal blog or blog.
totally not what I meant to do. Uh. Works going well in the last week I released two things. Podcast episode, which is good, and I I released a pen and paper role playing game system, which I had been working in for a year, but had really just kind of lain dormant. But I'm participating in a game jam as I'm on the last episode. And that. So I released that. I'm working on the adventure, um, well, and so I'll be writing that while I'm actually on holiday, because it's a personal thing, which will be nice. Um, Yeah, so mm. 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 yeah, not a lot to say. I mean this summer is going well, things are productive, but it's quiet here in Finland so in terms of work just don't that many potential clients are.
yeah, it's not a whole lot, really. It's just quiet and hot. It's, you know. Get on with my business and make the best of it. And act it. But, uh, yeah. Because of that, because of the amount of work I've been putting into uh, better once the summer vacation is over. I mean, not just mine, mine's only for a week. And then the week after I get to go to Stockholm to play some Tokyo, which would be nice. I'm looking forward to these trips. It'll be nice to get away. this episode since it's been a while since I recorded. But you know, with it being summer and it hot, I'm just looking forward to vacation. Trying to make the best of it all. I mean, generally, things are in a good place. Finland being so quiet, it can be uh, hard to know how things are going because no, no one's doing anything. Nothing is happening. You're not going to get in your way.
hope, hope, hope. Yeah, I, um, Finland is not unique in how much it should stand during the summer, but it does make it really hard to network to uh, do any sort of, you know, sell goods or services. It's just one of those things. Where you end up kind of treading water, waiting for things to get back to business. I, I mean, there are entire restaurants that shut down and send everyone on vacation because it's just, there's no one in town so you're losing money by staying open whereas if you're if you're at, if you're closed i mean all you're doing is paying for rent and the minimal electricity i mean conceivably you could even shut your fridge or freezer down and let it defrost for the month because you're not having to buy any perishables in that time. You're not, your, your costs are at a minimum. I mean, no matter what, you're already paying your staff, but, you know, they get vacation time here anyways because it's Finland. And, uh, Yeah, so... Yeah, I don't know what... Uh, is the camera off again? Huh. The camera keeps turning off. I wonder why. Oh well. It doesn't matter. This is meant to be a podcast anyways. Live streaming, it's just a... a, a quick and simple way for me to record... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sure is hot today. The kid is outside playing in a paddling pool. She's lucky. In a minute, once I'm done with this, I'm going to go join her. And then I'll swim. I'll just stand there. Like a doofus. Mm. Yeah. So there's um, your Pocket Gamer Connect. It's this conference for game developers in September. So I have that to look forward to. That hopefully drumming up some business. Hopefully being the key. Checking, checking, checking. of it. I have some business cards on the way.
What can I do for you, Guardian? Come see me again, Guardian. Well, Titan, let's see what I'm we really... have here. Wait, oddly. I'm blanking on uh, what to say. Keep it loaded. It's uh, I'm oddly. Oddly, uh, dumbfounded, I guess, would be the term. Weren't you just here, Guardian? Mm, wouldn't be. I say I'm dumbfounded so much Lost as too much when the Red Legion hit us. It's just yeah, there's so little going on, so little support beyond my continual frustration with the cat. The cat is still just a douchebag. What do you think? <laughs> I mean it's a cat. It's a good place. There's no doubt in my mind. Yeah. I think this is now the time to call this episode quits. Thanks for watching and listening. I've been One Game Dead. Everything I do can be found at OneGameDad.com or on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube at OneGameDad. I'll see you on the next episode. How does one become an Iraq, you wonder? Hmm. I'll tell you. In the depths of despair, another Iraq finds him. I wish to remember Earth at its most beautiful when we leave it behind. Do not hesitate to call on us. Stars.